Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fail here. Welcome back to Crusader's Quest. Today, we are gonna take a look at um, one of the four Heavenly Kings. So, we actually got Jokpal Choi from the uh, pools a while back. We've spent 156 gems. I try and get him in um, Tramontana. But we didn't get Tramontana, unfortunately. So. Yeah, but we did get um yeah elite four Joe Paul Choi. Now most of the elite four is actually really strong, like the cut chick. I forgot her name. Um, she's really strong. Um, Ozma I think is one of the elite four. Yeah, she's she's really good as well for defensive side of things. So, but it looks like they are um the captains are using him um Joe Paul Choi for uh, Colosseum or PVP by the looks of things. But we are gonna use him on PVE. So we'll have a look at the uh, stats for him, basically. So if we go here, we'll have a look at his illustration real quick. I like his um, extra sort of jacket just hanging in the side. Very cool. Reminds me a bit of a One Piece um, Admiral. So yeah, really, really nice. Not too badly. Now I built him to have double crit damage because he's... Um, Crit chance is really high, like it's sixty-eight percent, and I've only got these. I think these are level th four, level three, level four. I'm not too sure. Sigils, I've run out. I've, of course, I've got the life steal ring, and I've just put what about necklace? Like this one's pretty useless, and this one's pretty useless too. I'm just putting it whatever, just to have something in there. And of course, we got the mana, spirit of mana that summons the uh, shadow clone jutsu. So really good for uh, mages skill. That's my favorite um, skill for mages to uh, use because you just you know summon multiple of you. So really really good. But yeah, let's have a look at his uh, skills. So shadow binding is the block skill. Binds the first three enemies with shadows and deals magical damage equals to a thousand, one thousand five hundred, one thousand eight hundred of attack power per chain. Roots them for three seconds and the duration is reset on reuse. Back in my day, passive support type, so only one block. Upon using a block skill, back in my day, will activate for five seconds at the location of the five frontmost enemies. Cooldown six seconds. Enemies within the range of the skill will receive magical damage equals to 500% of joke port choice attack power every two seconds, like an AoE damage over time, and have the resistance reduced to 50%. In the duration of back in my day is over, enemies within the range will receive neutral damage equals to 6,000% of attack power. This attack ignores enemy effects that can take that take damage um, in place of their allies. And for the SBW, back in my day will deal an additional 500% damage to enemies bound by the shadow binding. And enemies in range of back in my day will immediately have their buff removed and they will not be able to gain new buffs. Okay, that's why they use it for PvP. And upon entering battle, the hero activates Resurrection Block on all allies and enemies. This ability stays in effect even if the hero is killed during battle. I have no idea what that means. What is it? Resurrection Block. What does it do? This down? Nothing. So we actually have, I don't know, no idea what um, what it does. Maybe they forgot to put it in. Huh. Weird. But um, yeah, anyway, we'll go and test him out in the challenge mode. So we will actually do the one before, the previous ones. And we'll do a couple of the uh, the newest ones. So this is, you know, the, what do you call it? Eastern countries in chaos. So just before the, uh, the latest one, I forgot the name of it. But yeah, so he does... Um, his main thing is he CCs the enemy, so he roots them in place, which is really good, because then they won't be able to actually hit us. So there we go, and his damage is actually really good. Like his potential damage DPS is really high. And yeah, look at that, you can't even see the, the bosses for this one, like they just get stuck. And he just says some stuff to them, and they just, they just die basically. <laughs> So you got Tiger, 
in general he's kind of been doing anything he's stuck as well so yeah really good and police chief beast warden no he's stuck as well he can't move with him he's trying to run trying to attack us for well, he can see us from afar but same thing she just dies eventually with the dots and we are up to the hidden one already so Jan Sambyong are we gonna even see him oh not yet we see him okay there he is so he's same thing he's rooted as well in place so he can't really move he can't really attack us he's trying to hide in the shadow and that's it it's Warida so yeah very safe this guy's actually yeah really good for CC if you need a CC and a DPS as well as well at the same time now we do have Kaide as well and Jernika just for the uh, defensive side of things can probably tweak the different heroes to make a uh, faster run all right pandemonium it's the same thing let's have a look see how strong he is and yeah same thing phantom army and the toys mask is he actually gonna damage it so we're damaging the main boss and wow okay yeah we destroyed the mask as well already look at that we didn't even see it it's crazy so he's actually really strong like really really strong for his damage diva king oh my gosh yeah bye diva king nice knowing you didn't miss him didn't even show his face he's got too much stuff it's lagging the game <laughs> God Captain, now usually God Captain charges towards us, um, yeah, not this time. Sorry God Captain, but you are stuck in place until you are dead. Sorry. There is. Such a weird, like, animation too. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> Just some random stuff. Kunki? Is Kunki gonna even show up? Oh my gosh, his health is going down. I didn't even see the boss, oh my gosh. Oh, there's his Kamehameha. No, never mind, he's dead. Yeah, wow. And we are up to the last one. Very last one of the challenge mode Mountains and Valleys. Alright, here we go. Guardian Beasts. Now, we do have that lady with the shield, so we'll see how. Uh, he can handle her. If we can actually damage her with the shield on. Five Tiger General, same thing. Here it is. Well, I see his sword. And he is dead. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> He's like, let me go. I want to fight him. And the other one. The same thing, man. Like, it's just, they can't do anything. Like, they're just stuck. This really like the safest hero ever to clear a stage look at that not much you can do oh dang G there we go so this is the one with the shield but oh it doesn't really matter look at that but we're just yeah bypassing the shield wow that's really strong and of course fantastic collard now she does push us which is kind of good for us and bad for her cuz yeah <laughs> cut too much so we didn't even get touched in that run jeez so yeah really good easy peasy all right now we'll have a look at the newest challenge mode the castle walls and gates this is the one with Rolando on it so we've got Haruki and Jernica for the defensive side of things but yeah same thing like his DPS is just yeah and the CC is so good look at that guardian beasts can't even move it's like hey come here let me fight you let me fight you man and yeah can't do much he just says things to him and he just like nah, I'm dead I sorry and the bomb of course same thing he's just gonna say some stuff to the bomb like hey you out of here that's it it's gone so he's done 278 million already in d damage so yeah now this is the one where his passive actually is really good so it just bypasses um kindness so it's actually damaging the actual castle gate which is the technically the boss so look at that 
So we'll actually destroy the castle gate before we kill Kindness, which then, yeah, once the, the, the gate is destroyed, there's no point of Kindness being there, so. It just, yep. So, yeah, really cool. And the hidden Rolando. So you got CC. Is he even gonna stun us? No, he can't even reach us. I don't think. Oh no, he did stun us. But I think it's uh, too late for him. His uh, dots has affected him. Sorry, sorry, Rolando. But it is a worried out for you. So yeah, minute 21. Still under minute 30. Which is, you know, reasonable time. Respectable time. So he's done 584 million damage. That's half a billion. Jeez. We got one, but it's uh, pretty crappy. Now, the only other one that I want to show you guys is the very last one. The Emperor's Abode. Um, like, he's really good, but just with the um, Alexander, he just gets stuck. I, like, I don't understand why... So the final judgment, the royal hall. So he's like really good still for the uh, other bosses. So same thing, he'll just CC everyone and just yeah, summons the little shadow dudes and damage them. So nobleman Robin Hood, it don't matter. He's stuck. He shoots us with his little bow, but yeah, can't really do much. We do have the lifestyle ring as well, so that just protects us from any damages from him. And same thing with Queen Victoria, like Victoria can't really do much, she's stuck as well. Like she will hit us a few times, which could be bad if she kills one of us, but yeah, we got too much heals. So yeah, she couldn't do much either. But yeah, the main thing is, um, yeah, Alexander, he just, he's got like some sort of a shield that just can't, you just can't break. And we do no damage, so I don't know if it's by design. Like if it's actually part of his like kit, but yeah, we just this only thing. So I reckon if he could bypass this, he could probably um, kill the final boss as well with that dot. So yeah, that's the only um, yeah issue or weakness that I found for him, unfortunately. So I wanted to use him for the last last episode, but yeah, just can't can't get past the Emperor Alex Zanda too strong. Shan Shan is too strong. Alright, anyway, that is it for now, Captains. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys are having fun. And, yeah, if you got the actual choice, then, yeah, definitely level him up. He's, uh, yeah, really strong, as uh, expected from one of the Heavenly Kings. And, yeah, hopefully, you guys are enjoying all the videos. We are going to be continuing some of the uh, Honkai Star Rail. I'm still leveling up some of my heroes. We did get... um. Silver Wolf, so we'll try and level her up and use her in some of the uh, Hertz's universe. But yeah, thank you so much for your unyielding support as always. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon in the live stream. I've been able to live stream, unfortunately. Just been too busy with IRL stuff. But yeah, I do have a new drift video that just came out with the police for the bad boys. So yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that one. I shall see you all next time. Keep an eye for the next video. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome to all the brand subscribers. I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye.